He's Johnny Knoxville and uh, Oscar-nominated film Bad Grandpa. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's uh, available in uh, DVD. Wait, how the hell did you get nominated? Uh, for makeup. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> not Thank a, you. Not acting. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why is that funny? You pricks. I see you laughing over there. <laughs> will you go up if you win? Uh, no, this will probably, it's a technical award, so it won't be aired on the show. But I, if, if I think our makeup guys deserve to win because not only does it have to look good, uh, on screen, but it has to look good if I'm nose to nose with you trying to prank you. Yeah. It has to pass two tests, and uh, no other film had to do that. How did you know that that you did it? Like the first time when you go out, that you go, I fooled them. Um, well, the first day we we pranked these guys on a golf course. There was a group of 50 playing golf on a golf course, and I was the greenskeeper. And I at that point, it was the first day, and I was like, oh, man, I'm going to be in makeup three hours a day for you know 60 days over the next 10 months and i was really bummed but all day long we kept those people on the hook all day and at, at the end of the day i <laughs> i wasn't concerned about the makeup uh me being a makeup the whole time i was just psyched because we had managed to keep 50 people on the uh uh you know and the funny thing is 48 of those guys were carrying guns and we didn't know it until <laughs> afterwards <laughs> Yeah, they have a license to carry in uh, Ohio, and they do. When's the last time you were scared? I get, no, I mean, when you're doing a stunt, you get scared. It's just some people will go through with it and some people won't. I just. What's the one, though, that was really where you go, I, I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm, this is really Well, dangerous. I mean, on every one of them, I say, well, I'm an <laughs> idiot. But, uh, but don't you have to be an idiot to do it? But you have to get to the point where you go, you know, fire, like if I get set on fire or something. like. Well, you just have to manage your fear. Like, you know, there's been a number, a lot of times you think uh, this one's not going to turn out bad, and it turns out horribly, you, you know. Like what? Um, well, in, in the first movie, Dunn and I, Ryan Dunn and I were riding around a golf course in a golf cart, and we tried to jump a ceramic pig. And, <laughs> and what we did, we landed on top of it, and it just flipped us straight over, and I went straight on the back of my neck. And got a really bad thing. That could, and then the card almost hit me. So you don't, you weren't thinking anything's bad's going to happen then. But if you're in the ring with a bull, you know something <laughs> terrible is about to happen <laughs> because they just hate you. Nothing delivers. They say never work with children or animals, and that's crazy because some of the best footage I've ever gotten is working with animals and uh, the kid in Bad Grandpa, Jackson Nickel. Uh, so I say work with children and animals. But y you have you ever had a cameraman miss the take? Yes, and you, and you have to do time. it again. Oh no! Yeah, I mean, there's there's any number of reasons you have to do it again. Uh, when I got run over by the yak in <laughs> Jackass Number Two, you know, I, I saw that in a Tom and Jerry cartoon. Tom <laughs> ran into the kitchen, puts a cigarette in his mouth, blindfolds himself, and a bull come takes him out. And I thought, and he got, and he hits him, and when he gets hit, he goes straight up in the air. So when we did it, uh, I stood really far back so the yak could really get ahead of steam. <laughs> but I stood so far back, he couldn't find me. Mm -hmm. So eventually he runs over to me, picks me up, slams me on the ground, and just starts goring me on the ground. And uh, I'm getting gored, and I'm like, geez, I have to do it again because I wanted to fly like Tom did. <laughs> so we did take two, and it worked perfect. I, I got hit, and I did a flip in the air, and I'm like, we got it. So you have to do it again for any number of reasons. He's Johnny Knoxville, the uh, Oscar-nominated film. <laughs> Sorry. DVD. Bad Grandpa is out now and also in, uh, in Blu-ray. Do you like being yourself, or would you rather play a character? Well, uh, Irving Zisman, the, he's a character, the uh, old bastard in Bad Grandpa. Yeah. That was fun. And since I'm in makeup, I can prank the public again, which I can't if I'm myself. Uh, so that was... You know, it was very, uh, it freed me up a lot. But when you walk the streets, mm. what do people want from you or ask you? Well, most of the time people just want a photo or to say hello. But there's a lot of times where, you know, they want me to punch them or kick them in the ding ding. And, you know, uh, a, a, you know around <laughs> seven, eight years ago, people always wanted to, you know, fight me or come up to me and punch me. Uh, girls would put cigarettes out on my arms or, or face. 
because they thought I liked that, you know. I'm so like, you're I into actually, pain. I actually, no, I'm not. I just it's a byproduct of what I do, but I, I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, I had a girl come up to me and go, "Oh, I love your work," and then she punched me right in the nose. And I was like, "Man, I'm, what would she have done if she hated my work?" <laughs> Can you retire? Like, at some point, you have to say, I can't do it physically. Well, I, I guess that point will come. I'm not there yet. I mean, I was in terrible shape when I began, and I'm in <laughs> terrible shape now. It's not like I have to maintain a certain uh, uh, physical condition. How many Fritzy concussions? Gets it. Yeah, well, yeah. Come on. But he has, come on. I'm joking, Fritzy. But he hasn't been injured, though. Well, yet. How many concussions do you think? Uh, at least 10. But the one injury where it hurts you every day? Uh, well, I don't, you know, there's been a number of things. My back is completely blown out, and that's, that's gotten better. Uh, and I broke my penis, and that's gotten better. I've had two kids since then. Um, but probably my back or just <laughs> different. I've, I've sprained or broken a lot of different areas. But you dressed up as a Tennessee volunteer, didn't you? Didn't you? Uh, <laughs> didn't yes, you go Vols. Kick return uh, against USC. USC. <laughs> yeah, and actually, one of their players broke his hand on me. Uh, I might have been lightly concussed at the end of that one, but uh, I think I, even though I lost horribly, I think I came out on top. What about your kids watching the DVDs? My, I have three kids. Uh, one's. Uh, 18-year-old daughter, and I have a two-year-old daughter and four-year-old boy. The 18-year-old, I finally let her watch Bad Grandpa all the way through. You know, it's the first movie I have my, I'm like, okay, you can watch it. You're 18 now. But on Jackass 3, she was 14, and I made her sit beside me in the theater, and I had a list of all the bits in front of me, and yellow were the really bad ones. So <laughs> I said, now, when Daddy says cover your ears or cover your eyes, you got to do it, and she did. There's probably seven, eight, nine places in that movie she had to do that. What's one thing that didn't make air? Uh, was God. there one stunt? Well, there, th something will not make air for any number of reasons. Sometimes people won't sign a release afterwards if you're pranking them. Uh, and sometimes, like you said, uh, our camera guy will miss it, or God, I'm trying to think. When we did the TV show, I think it was more that was a thing because sometimes things were so naughty. There's a too hot for TV tape that you can get <laughs> if you know me. And oh, you know what? Good thing from uh, the when we did the pilot of the TV show, which got us shut down. This was in we just we didn't we just started the pilot of the TV show in 2000, and there was an idea that I was going to dress in a prison orange jumpsuit and dirty my face up and go into a hardware store handcuffed <laughs> and, and ask <laughs> the people there, well, you saw these cuffs off. <laughs> so I did. You know, I ran in with the L.A. County jumpsuit on, the handcuff. <laughs> <laughs> and no one was helping me, and soon I realized that <laughs> no one was in the place. The owner had cleared the entire place, <laughs> and even my cameraman. So I'm in there. I'm still doing it, but I'm like, who the hell am I doing it for? No one's watching. So I go outside, and I hear cops. I hear sirens, four <laughs> carloads. And the first lady on the scene, she gets out of her car. She orders me to the ground, and I comply because she's, <laughs> she's, she gets out of her car and points the gun straight in my head. And but she forgets to put her car in park, so she gets out, puts a gun on <laughs> my head, and then her car runs into the uh, light pole. And I was like, "Man, we are in big trouble now." <laughs> there was at least five or six guns to my, you know, pointed at my head, and that happened five, at least five times during pranks on the TV show. And afterwards, we told her like we're filming a prank, and uh, I. When I was talking afterwards, they finally calmed down, and I said, is this the weirdest call you've ever gotten? <laughs> she goes, no, actually, one time there was a guy naked at the top of a palm tree, and we were ordering him down, and he just slid down the palm oh tree butt naked God. all the way down. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and it was one of those with the, uh, oh. Yeah. He's uh, Johnny Knoxville joining us uh, here in the uh, man cave. You got a glimpse of flinch ball that we've, uh, we've, yes. we've played before. Yes, the offshoot of we, Nutball. Yeah, we sort of sampled from you. Well, I think it's a it's a wonderful uh, you know offshoot of the game, and I was practicing in the trailer, <laughs> and I'm terrible. Yeah, but you got to bounce it. You threw it directly at Paulie's groin. Well, that's because no one explained the game to me yet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro.
<laughs> I got fantastic aim. <laughs> uh, more likely for Jackass or a Bad Grandpa 2? What's that? Another movie. Uh, I would say 50-50. Uh, we used to say we're, there's not going to be a Jackass 2 or 3, and then we did it. So I don't know. There's no plans for a Jackass 4 yet and no plans for a Bad Grandpa 2. But there could be. It could be done. Uh, I know the guys want it. And I, I always continue writing just in case. Uh, I've written like 50, 60 ideas for another Jackass 4 if, if we decide to do it. So we, we're good if we do it. Most famous person you punked? I, uh, I punked. I think that's more of an Ashton Kuchter thing, yeah. uh, the punk. Uh, I, I don't really... Have I, the Brad Pitt? Have I pranked select? Oh, yeah. Thank you for that uh, help. Uh, on the TV stand? show, On the TV show, we actually put Brad Pitt in front of Pink's hot dog stand. And he was just minding his own business, standing in line, uh, and we kidnapped him. And I think that was, he played it so great, it was a little scary. Uh, and then we put him in a gorilla suit. Took the <laughs> best looking man on the planet and put him in a gorilla suit. Yeah, we don't know what we're doing. He was really, he was so much fun. He was so open and cool about it. Uh, I, I, yeah, we all like that guy a lot. How does that come about where you go, let's get Brad Pitt to stand at a hot dog stand <laughs> well you know S spike jones uh our partner my partner in jackass knew brad pitt and he was a fan of the show and i saw him at spike's house one day and i asked him if he'll be on it and i and for that particular idea i think uh my other partner jeff tremaine came up like with the kidnapping brad pitt idea <laughs> the uh dvd blu-ray bad grandpa jackass presents Oscar nominated. Yes, you're plugging the hell out of the DVD. Thanks, man. Yeah, you're welcome.